A brand not making your size in something does not give you grounds to talk shit and degrade the brand. I hope every single fat person in your life treats you like the fucking piece of shit that you are after this. Brands are allowed to want a certain look and image with their products. They are allowed to make things for the people they want to make them for. I've been seeing too many people talking shit recently and it's pissing me off. Now that you're no longer fat, you then think it's okay to spew fat phobic rhetoric? All right, to hit this properly, the ego is checked at the door. I got some shit to own up to. Hey, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. I know I am. So if you haven't been living underneath Patrick Starr's rock from Bikini Bottom, you'll probably know there's a new trend going around. And I've heard a lot of discourse regarding this trend on TikTok. So I thought I'd actually put my two pence on it and bring it to life from here. So in case you guys haven't been aware, there's this new trend going around called the Big Bat Trend. And this trend encompasses just basically we've coming up with situations coming up with scenarios where your big back self would be accustomed to so as this trend is progressing a lot of people are increasingly upset with it and a lot of perspectives from bigger people the plus size community they're basically coming out and saying that this is just a way to be fat phobic that this is just a joke covered or disguised in fat phobia oh pisses me this stupid fucking big back trend shit that's going on right now pisses me the fuck off every single time i see when you guys post one of these fucking big back trend videos or i see people laughing about it all i can think is that i hope every single fat person in your life treats you like the fucking piece of shit that you are after this i hope they see you for what you're worth i hope they see you making fun of fat people and like fat people just eat non-stop all the time i hope they see you acting like that and i hope they stop fucking with you and I'm sure all of you guys know fat phobia is when you literally just hate fat people, when you literally just find them disgusting, you don't think they should be represented in anything, etc, etc, etc. Now, the people who are calling this trend fat phobic are explicitly saying that if this was a skinny trend or a, a skinny back trend, that it wouldn't be as popular, it wouldn't be as this, but because it's about fat people, that's the reason as to why everyone is joking about it. That's the reason because fat people tend to be, and it's kind of true, they tend to be the butt of every single joke. We can literally even bring up Leo Skepti's example because recently he's been under fire of basically being fat phobic. That brands shouldn't have to cater towards bigger people. They should they should be allowed to discriminate essentially based on look because they want to if they want to keep up this certain image. A brand not making your size in something does not give you grounds to talk shit and degrade the brand. Brands are allowed to want a certain look and image with their products. They are allowed to make things for the people they want to make them for. I've been seeing too many people talking shit recently and it's pissing me off. People are allowed to have preferences and brands are allowed to create an image with what they want and have a specific type of person wear what they have. Not everybody needs to be catered to by everything and everyone. And this is a lesson I had to learn when I was fucking fat. I used to think clothes just weren't flattering. No, babe, the body wasn't fucking flattering. But a lot of brands don't make my size in a lot of shit still. And if a piece of clothing is not flattering on you, it doesn't mean the item or product is not flattering or is not good. It's not made for you. I'm a size 16 shoe. A lot of brands don't make my size. Do I waste my time and lend my energy and focus to what I don't want and what I can't have and attacking brands for not making my fucking size? No. Every single human being is very powerful. You have to be careful with where you put your attention and your focus. For you to stick your attention and your energy on what doesn't work for you, what is not made for you, and what brands don't want you to wear their fucking shit, you're never gonna have mental space to think and look for and discover brands that are made for you. You can't keep focusing on what you don't want and find what you do want. Get your fucking attention off of the shit that's not for you and the things you don't like. I'm never gonna find my size in shoes that I like if all I'm doing is sitting here crying how most brands only go to a 13. Fuck them. I'm gonna go buy the shoes that go to my size. But key point here, if my focus is nothing but stuck on the brands that don't make my size, I'm gonna feel nothing but frustrated, irritated, singled out, and pissed off. That's a waste of your energy. Being a human being is a very valuable experience and it's a very precious thing. Don't waste your fucking time on the shit that's not for you. Don't let useless nonsense irritate you. I know social media has a big 
fucking mental illness of its own. With contributing to people lacking perspective of what really fucking matters, clothes not being in every single person's size is very, very minute and a very minuscule thing compared to what else is going on in the world. Maybe go the fuck outside and go experience some real contrast and see what other people are really dealing with and living with and you might be a little more appreciative of your situation and the fact that you can go find other shit that does fit you. Brands are allowed to do what they want. I'm not saying they're right or wrong for discriminating. They're gonna do it. You bitching about it is gonna do nothing but ruin your emotional state and your mental state. That's what I wanna protect you from. I gotta be a little harsh with you because I love you. But get your fucking focus off the shit that ain't for you so you can find what is. A lot of fat phobic discourse has been growing around TikTok. Here's my personal two pence on it. I, I honestly do not think that the big bat trend started off maliciously. Like, I don't think people were trying to be fat phobic. I don't think people were actively in, actively trying to come out fat people per se. I generally think that it started off as a joke. However, now that I'm kind of analyzing it from a critical lens, it is, it is basically making fun of fat people. It is making, you, you, can't, you cannot say it otherwise. It is basically making fun of fat people. I can put my hand up and say that, okay, maybe people weren't trying to be fat phobic or rude. However, put two and two together, people are literally putting pillows at their back to mimic a fat person. Let's be real, it's about fat people. Like, let's not be stupid. And so I kind of do understand and empathize to where a lot of plus size people are coming from because for people to make this trend and then look in their face boldly and say that oh well we're not making fun of you like it has it doesn't affect you guys in any way it's not about you guys it's kind of a spit in the face because at the very least do it with chest otherwise don't do it all this is where i'm coming with the leo skepti thing leo skepti was being fat phobic flat out everyone that is trying to defend him and trying to literally cuddle to him you cannot convince me otherwise that like, he was being fat phobic in the instant he was literally saying that brands shouldn't have to accommodate anyone that that doesn't fit their image that he's such a big creator that he is and especially considering that he's such a motivational speaker he should have known that that would have instantly rubbed people the wrong way and could and could easily come off as discriminatory towards fat people me personally coming from someone who's lost 80 pounds in the last two years and kept it off i feel like it's a very and i've talked about this on my tiktok i feel like it's very very telling when fat people when ex-fat people i.e I. leo because if you don't know leo used to be over 200 pounds he used to be quite fat he used to be quite obese he said it openly before in his channels i find it i take issue to when ex-fat people once they lose the weight they now have to discriminate and be just so bigoted and horrible towards fat people currently as if that's not exactly what they used to look like before he's actively coming on this app and saying that your body your body is not fitting or your body was not complementing the outfit or whatever body shaming the exact same demographic of people who watch him body shaming their body if you're someone that comes on the internet and you've created some sort of a following created an image for yourself where you've lost so much weight and now loads of people are following you from it you have a duty of responsibility as a big creator to now not outwardly say horrible bigoted offensive things about that demographic of people that are following you getting you money do you get what i'm saying people forget i feel like people forget the type of people who follow them people forget the people who are the ones that made them who they are today it's the fame it's the it's the money it's the title it's the status that make people forget who they are and makes them forget who who it is that's paying their bills essentially and i can't lie a lot of people were coming at him rightly so a lot of people both fat small it doesn't matter what, irregardless, we're looking at what he said and are looking at the big back comments and noticing, hey, hello now. And to me, it's like people want to come out cancel culture saying that, oh, cancel, cancel, cancel culture is toxic, da -da -da -da. And to a certain extent, I do agree. However, when it comes to things like this, cancel culture is good for holding people accountable when they say things that are just blatantly ignorant and stupid. Someone like Leo Skepti or whatever is coming up on TikTok basically shaming half of his demographic of people, basically shaming half of his demographic of audience, basically shaming their bodies, people have every single right to come up and say that they're upset with that. And I absolutely agree. I could not agree more. That's one aspect of cancel culture that I would 100% stand by. People being able to take 
celebrities, elected officials, elected representatives, and hold them to account. That is the point of a democracy. That's my personal two friends. I personally feel like the Big Bad trend was not it wasn't necessarily made to be malicious, but easily catapulted into something that was. And then I think like Leo Skepti, literally, I mean, maybe he didn't mean to say it, maybe he did, but irregardless what he said was so lambastically wrong that he absolutely deserves to be held accountable for it. I'm glad people were doing it, absolutely. But, you know, you guys tell me what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys. If you did like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. You can head over to my TikTok, which is where I found all of this drama, all of this information anyway. And if you want, you can head over to my Instagram. And guys, you're literally here, so you might as well subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys, and I shall see you in the next one.